So I was asked a couple of weeks ago my opinion on the NX versus the GX group set. And I didn't really have much of an opinion because I hadn't ridden on the NX stuff, so only what I'd read was, was all I could offer really. Now last week I, or the week before last, I demoed the Scott Ransom and that thing had NX group set, so NX cranks, NX derailleur, NX shifter. Spent a few days on it, so I've got a fair idea of how it works. Now at first, my first impressions of it was it was really rattly and I thought maybe the clutch was, was kind of gone on it. Uh, this is my patrol, it's got the, the GX set up on it. Now what it actually was is on the other side of the, the rear axle, it's got a removable Allen key or removable tool to undo the, the axle and that's what was rattling around and bouncing around and making the back end so noisy. So once I got rid of that and there was very low engagement in that rear hub as well, it was an 18 tooth engagement or 18 point engagement, which makes it quite slappy at the back as well. So uh, taking those factors out gave me a better idea of how the, how the NX was working. Now, the derailleur itself, it felt like the clutch was maybe a little bit weaker. Maybe not. I, I can't really say definitively that it was a weaker clutch. Uh, never dropped a chain, never had it bounce off the front ring. It did have a small chain glide up the top, but nothing, yeah, nothing going, down on, going on underneath, obviously. So there was not enough play in that clutch on the NX to bounce off. The movement up and down through gears is less crisp, so it doesn't engage as fast, it doesn't feel as strong, like the springs in the actual derailleur here, now these springs in here, didn't feel as strong like it wasn't when you drop down into a smaller cog, so a heavier gear, it wasn't as direct and fast and, and solid. And the same goes for the shifter. So comparing the GX to the NX shifter, this GX shifter has, if you look above, it's got a little bit of free play before you engage it. And then it's quite crisp. With the, uh, this is the GX shifter. With the NX, there was more free play here. And it kind of feels like it's a little bit different. I don't know if, whether it's shaped a little different but you'd had to move further through through the free play, uh, free play, and then it was very easy, it was very light under finger, but you had to move it in further, and then the release wasn't as strong either, like the spring, and I guess that's a feed, that's feedback from the spring in the clutch, but it doesn't feel as crisp or as solid. So this may fatigue your hand a little bit more, this GX, fatigue your thumb a little bit more on long, long days, but uh, less movement overall, uh, more crisp feeling, just feels a bit more robust. The cranks, I'm running the SRAM GX cranks, so I've got 165 cranks on now. NX cranks felt fine. They didn't feel uh, flexy or anything like that. I'm assuming they're just heavier. I'm assuming that's the only difference, they're heavier. They're, I'd be surprised if they were flexy, more flexy. So NX, crank, NX cranks were fine, so if you can get a short NX crank, you know, you want to go short cranks, but they're quite expensive or whatever. Uh, these are, you know, these GX cranks, these are dub cranks, so they're 230 bucks or something, 220 bucks. NX, you might get them for 190 bucks. So don't be scared to go a short NX crank. They're still gonna do a good job. You still get the same uh, X-Sync front uh, direct mount front cog, so no big deal. And I think the GX, cluster at the back, rear cassette at the back, uh, the gates and whatnot are more crisp. Everything just feels like it, it happens faster. So I have less, the, the one thing I noticed with the NX is sometimes it's a little slow to get off that top gear, maybe a little adjustment issue or whatever, but it wasn't quite as fast getting on and off of gears. So still worth it if you, if you go on budget bob and you just want something on the bike that does the job, but yeah, you can't really be throwing money at it. Don't be scared of the NX, it works. It's just not gonna last as long, I don't think. That's the only real thing I'm feeling is, is it'll develop more play sooner than the GX. And then same story when you go up to the XO1. Uh, it's gonna, I'm assuming it's gonna last longer. The XO1, you know, better quality spring and 
uh, bits and pieces. But what I have noticed is a lot of people have been ripping these middle cogs, these middle uh, jockey wheels, uh, the top jockey wheel, ripping the whole setup, like basically the cage apart on the XO1s. Haven't seen too many on the GX, on these later GXs, but I've seen a lot of them on the XO1s, so that's something to think about. For me, I'll always go GX. I don't like spending more money than I have to. GX is fine, it's high quality, and you know, as long as you keep it tuned right and you're not bending hangers, and you know, just keep an eye on it. If something's out of, out of whack, it might be a bent hanger or a bent derailleur, get on top of it before you damage anything else. So yeah, keep everything in good nick, use good chain lube, I use squirt, and you should have crisp, you know, crisp uh, drivetrain. GX, I'm happy with, NX, it's all right, it's, a, it's budget bob, but it will do the job and you're still getting your 12 speed, so don't be afraid of it if you're, if you're trying to stay on a budget. So it gets one thumb up, but the uh, GX gets two thumbs up. And the XO, XO1 probably gets three thumbs up. So, you know, they're, they're, they're on the level.